Hello, I'm John from Into Boxing, and I'm here with the legendary Carl Greaves Promotions. So, Carl, tough fight for your girl today. Tell us about it. Tell us how it happened. Yeah, I won't say it's a tough fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Um, Nina's a current super lightweight Commonwealth champion. Obviously, Terry Harper's 5-0. and um, Steffi Bull, her manager and trainer, raves about her, said how good she is. But... Nina can fight, you know what I mean? It's a proper live fight, there's 50-50 fights, so um, I, I just think it's um, a case of Nina probably being too strong for Terry and myself, but we'll see tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Do you think Steffi Bull's um, unestimated her? I just think with women, you can move them on a bit quicker, and he's obviously looked at Nina's result when she won the Commonwealth title, and she she beat that fairish Mishura on a, on a 10, po 10 round points decision, whereas Terry Harper stopped this Farish um, on, a, on a last fight. So he's probably looking at that and thinking, well, Nina went the distance with a girl that Terry stopped, so he fancies his chances. So listen, fair play. I mean, it's a live fight. Um, credit to us both for, for taking the, the risk and, and obviously um, going for it. I mean, it's for the prestigious WBC international title. Nina's dropping down to lightweight. I mean, the winner of this could possibly go on to win challenge for a world title. I mean, you know, what I mean, that's how big this fight is tonight. I was going to say that, you know, sometimes you avoid big matchups, and this is certainly going to be a big match, a big test for them both. So, may the best woman win. Um, moving on then to your um, your main star at the minute. Uh, you've had a bit of bad luck with him. Yeah, Sam Bowen. Yeah. Um, Obviously, he's probably the most avoided fire in the country. Um, doors are opening up for him now. He's just signed with uh, Frank Warren. Um, his last fight was on uh, live on BT Sport when he won the WBO Intercontinental Super Featherweight title. That's gave him a top 10 ranking in the world. So it's um, really opening up for Sam now. On the 23rd of March, he's defending his British title. Um, he's defending his British title and then obviously win that and against Jordan McCrory and uh, a good win there we'll, we'll probably push on again for defending the WBO and, and aim to get in the world scene and, and try and get, get a world title fight That's good I, um, What's coming up? This month's been absolutely crazy, I mean obviously last week he had his show in Nottingham um, Really, only a small four fight show but it was absolutely packed um, four great prospects on there went really well um, tonight I've got Nina fighting, tomorrow night I've got a show in Hull with uh, some more of my prospects on that, building them up. Um, then I've got uh, Louis Norman next week uh, fighting, um, he, he's fighting next week so it's another big fight for Louis. And then uh, if he can win that then he's back in the mix at Bantamweight. And then um, the week after that's the big one, I've got Sam Bowen obviously defending his British title against Jordan McCrory. Kyle A would challenge him for the Midlands title, vacant Midlands title, against CJ Challenger. And I've also got Callum Blotley on that bill, so that's a big, a big weekend. And then the weekend after that, there's a Stoke on Trent show that I'm doing uh, and promoting up there with Scott Lawton. And that's, a, that's going to be a 10 fight show, a big show. But unfortunately, I can't be there because I've got David Avanesian, my Russian star, challenging for the uh, European title in Bilbao, Spain. So. It's unbelievable this month, absolutely hectic. I've also got fighters on the road every week, so uh, really big times and exciting times for me, especially this month. Calgary's promotions going places. Um, I'm John from Interboxing. Thank you very much and good luck tonight. Thank you, John.